Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of June 13th, 2022. We get four stories for you this week. The first one is regional carrier Piedmont pilots are getting a pretty good raise. We have a double-decker airplane seat design that is coming back. We talked about this about a year ago. Uh, we'll talk about ForeFlight coming up with a new device called a Sentry Plus. And then we have a mystery aircraft that violated seven different European airspace, landed and get away with it. So let's get to it. All right, the first story this week is regional carrier Piedmont is giving a big race to their pilots. They came up with a deal. Uh, the one-year first uh, officer is going to be getting a base salary of $60 an hour. And then with the bonus that they're adding onto it, it's going to add up to $90 an hour. Uh, a four-year captain is going to be getting from $157 and raised all the way to $161 an hour. And they're hoping to retain more pilots by doing this race. Now, you may be looking at these numbers, and if you're not familiar with the airline industry, uh, you may think, wow, that's a lot of money per hour. Uh, you also have to think that these are regional carriers. Uh, these hours are not the time that you necessarily just spend at the airport, just walking around or doing whatever. It usually is just the hours that you get when you're in the cockpit and you start flying. So uh, yes, they're pretty high numbers, but pilots don't fly 40 hours a month, so it's or 40 hours a week, I should say. So it's a, it's a different uh, salary base. So you may be looking at this and thinking, well, wow, maybe they make millions of dollars. They they, they don't. Uh, the uh, the quote the 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 airline was quoted as saying, with the supportability premium. Or pilot wages will be 50 to 70 percent higher uh, than the next highest paid airline, which is Endeavor. They send that letter to Alpa and to 700 pilots. They said, including all bonuses, a new hire pilot should expect to make 31 percent more than pilots at Endeavor and uh, 10 percent more than the pilots at the leading ultra low cost carriers over the next five years. So this is good news. I think uh, we've all seen a shortage of pilots and uh, those uh, things in the news, and I think this is good news for those that want to be become airline pilots. The next story, not so exciting. It's the double-decker airplane seat design. We've talked about this about a year ago, and now it's making a comeback. Uh, the design actually removes the overhead bin completely and then staggers passengers uh, so they can fit more people inside of an airplane. Now, the creator of this, Alejandro Nunez Vicente, has uh, put on uh, put his degree to the side on hold, and then he's going to pursue the creation of these seats. Uh, I would have said, don't quit your day job because uh, this is a terrible, terrible idea. Idea. I just came back from a trip to Paris, uh, nine hours in one of the airplane ride with uh, two kids, and uh, I would have absolutely hated hated having something like this. Uh, you would have to, I don't even know how you would get to those top seats, but imagine having just a, a massive seat right in front of you. You're pretty much at butt level uh, with the people in front of you. Uh, now, you know how airplane flights are these days, and uh, this is just a, a horrible idea. Plus, you're getting rid of the um, overhead bins, I'm guessing maybe you have underhead bins, if that's what you would call them. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm still not sold. I wasn't sold back then. I think uh, airline travel is already difficult. We definitely don't need to be crammed in there like sardines, but uh, let's see where this goes. All right, the next thing is ForeFlight is coming up with a new device called a Sentry Plus. This is an ADSB receiver. Uh, there's flight data recorder, there's a, a G load meter, there is automatic power settings, 18 hours of battery life, a carbon monoxide detector, which is a cool thing, and then uh, compatibility with FLARM, which is the European ADSB equivalent, if you want. This will retail for $7.99, and it was developed in collaboration with U Avionics. Uh, we'll put a link down in the description so you can see more. More information about this. And the last one is kind of a puzzling story. Uh, this happened in Europe. There was a mystery aircraft that violated seven different European airspace. It flew over several countries, European countries. It started taking off from Lithuania. Uh, it, this was a Piper Aztec, flew south to Poland, Slovakia, Slovakia, uh, Hungary, and then where the plane landed for fuel. When they landed for fuel, uh, it looks like they landed without permission. Uh, people get into the airplane and they get into an argument with the airport workers, and then they call the police. The airport workers call the police. When they saw that the police was approaching, they got back in the airplane, took off without approval, which uh, which uh, had 
the local police call authorities and then they send two Saab Gripen fighter jets to go after them. After this, they intercepted the Piper aircraft. Uh, they kept going, ignoring the fighter jets. From here, they continued into Romanian airspace. They were then intercepted by two US F-16s uh, that were trying to monitor what the aircraft was doing when they crossed into Serbia. Serbia. And then as they were off overflying Serbia for a few minutes, they came back into Romanian airspace and then went into Bulgaria. I know it's a long story. And then they eventually landed in Bulgaria and they left the airplane where it was, they covered it. And then the Bulgarian authority found the airplane without finding the people. The engine apparently was still warm. And uh, then you can see the track right here of the aircraft. So they had an interesting joyride. Uh, we still don't really know what the story is behind all of this. Uh, if this was like a surveillance type of thing or not quite sure. So I'm sure we'll find more information over time. We'll let you know if we find more, but this was uh, definitely something interesting this week. All right, that's all I have for you this week. Like, subscribe, leave your comments, and we'll talk to you next week.